I thought I would bring back my train of thought series. So, here we go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. About a year ago, I did about six videos on Tom's Train of Thought. And I stopped doing it when we started packing up to move. So I thought, since you know, we're right here at this point right now, that I should start getting back into Tom's train of thought. So it's back right here. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about rebuilding. And you can see that you know, I, I ha I'm in the process of rebuilding this side over here. I have the module up. This side over here is still a bunch of junk. So I have to do a little bit more work on that side. But uh, things have been going slow. And I'm going to tell you why it's been going slow. You know, in the beginning, you know, when I was younger and I had some ideas, I didn't have that many ideas. So I was able to get things up and moving. But since I got older, I looked at so many different model railroads, went to clubs, went to train shows, looked through magazines, looked through track plans, and all these ideas are in my head, and I just can't decide which one I want to do, but I want to keep it simple. I only have 11 foot going across here and usable feet about 14 feet up here now i'm sitting right where a door is and if i wanted to i could probably put you know a bridge over here and bring it around in front where my camera is right here and bring it around but uh, you know that's a lot of work to do i'm gonna stop right here and bring it across and then back down and probably just put a, a big loop in there for right now and then worry about what I'm going to do with the rest of it later. I'm going to have a big open space in the middle. So I just want to get trains running right now. So probably coming up this next week, I'll be over here putting up the framework. I'll have to move this stuff out a little bit and put up the framework. I took some L girders from up on top and um, I got them laying on the floor behind me. And so they're going to go across here and then back by the door, I'm going to be put coming out a little bit. And as you can see, I think it comes out a little bit over five foot, but on this side over here, I'm going to bring it, I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to put a, a lift out or a swing out or a lift up or whatever kind of bridge. But I have to make it wide enough. So if I ever need to replace the washer and dryer or anything or I want to bring a freezer in here or something, then I'm going to have enough room. So it's probably going to be at least a 32 or 35 inch gap right there. So that's that's not a problem. I could I could build some kind of bridge for that and that'll make it all right. But uh over here, it's two foot wide. I might make it 18 inches wide on this side. And then coming back here, right behind me, you know, just the same thing, maybe 18 inches. I'm not sure what I want to do with the, the old, st old stuff that I have. I might just cut it in half because bo both of them are loops like this. And it takes up uh, almost five foot five foot width and uh I, I don't want to do that i don't want to take up room in the middle here for right now because i have other plans right now i'm recording right here but i want to record over on up against that wall so i want to have the desk on that wall over there and my computer and everything and leave this workbench here for work this was my original plan but since debbie had her accident i had to change the configuration of everything so it wouldn't look the same it, it's hard rebuilding with all these ideas you want to you want to have something really good you know just keep it simple <laughs> i'm just going to go around in a loop uh, maybe uh two main lines and that's it uh, over here 
I'll have some industries because I got the I got the room over here. I got two foot, and that's what I designed this originally for the module that I had in the living room of the other house. Now I had to cut this down short. It's only 14 foot long, but that's fine. That's enough room for me to put uh, several industries in there. I got a message from Lawrence Eggering last night asking me if I have ever found anything on slowing down the servo using a PCA 9685. And I told him, no, I worked on a couple of different things, but I never really got it to work. Well, he gave me a link to some code and <laughs> I mean, maybe even an hour later, I got an email from the Arduini group uh, and somebody else had some code for it. So I sent him the code for that. And he, you know, thanked me for that. And so I'm going to be looking at, at both of those versions of it, slowing down the, um, the servos, because I've had so many questions from people saying, you know, how do you slow down the servos? If you're not using the PCA 9685, it's real easy. I worked on code for that and I got it to go, you know, as slow as you can, but it's a little bit different on the PCA 9685 and nothing that I tried would, would work. I mean, I come close to it, but it just didn't work out too good. So I'm going to try out these two different methods that, uh, that I found and then Lawrence found for me and, uh, we'll see how that works and I'll probably do a video on it and, and let you know how that comes out. And like I said before, I was going to be doing some, uh, some more kits and some more Arduino stuff. And, the the one of the ones that i'm going to be doing is this one here the grove beginner kit now i was sent this one from seed studio and they want me to do a review on it and so i'll be doing that one in the next couple of weeks it looks like a really nice kit it's it's really simple and it's all contained on one board and if you ever get past the beginner stage you could break off those pieces and use the components on there so that's going to be interesting i'm going to see what that looks like and uh, like i said before i got a microscope coming and we'll be doing one on that i got a, a a lot of stuff in here that i want to i want to show you that i have that i didn't get a chance to do last year because we moved I mean, I had parts and parts and parts that I planned on showing you and I just never got around to it because we moved. <laughs> I had to disassemble everything and we moved. So we're going to be doing that coming up shortly. So I want to thank everybody that contributes to this channel through Patreon and through the membership. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. I wouldn't be able to buy the the components to show you how to use if it wasn't for your contributions. So thank you very much. It really helps out. Now you can see back here, that is my old laptop, my old laptop that I did my original streams from back in 2017. And I had to do a uh, complete uh, Windows install on it so it, i had to clean wipe everything out on it so and then i had to buy a new battery i just got a new battery for it because the old battery was shot so i got that working this computer right here i use this one also and that's the one that i want to use back here i had an ssd card on it to speed things up but the ssd card failed so i had to revert back to the old spin-up drive those are the only two computers right there that will communicate with all my other computers. I, all my other computers are Windows 10 and not one of them will communicate with each other. And the only way I can access all my computers is either through this laptop here or that one right there. The only thing with that one right there is I got to hook up an ethernet cable because it's so old, it doesn't have Wi-Fi on it. And that is going to be running everything on my layout. 
I hope you enjoy the new Tom's train of thought. I'm going to try to keep doing this maybe every week, maybe, uh, maybe twice a month, something like that. I'm not sure yet, depending on how much time I have. Leave some comments and let me know how you feel about it or how you feel about rebuilding your model railroad. So until the next time, we'll see you. Don't forget to smash that like button. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos just like this one and more.